How you doing today? What is going on out there in the inner land? So there it is. So I'm doing a double banger, man. I have got y'all on YouTube and I have got y'all over here on this other one, Facebook. So there it is. So today we are going to do an Instapot um, beef stroganoff. Beef and noodles, beef stroganoff. Y'all already know. So there it is. Hi, you guys. I am on Jerry's phone and I'm able to go live on Jerry's phone. But we are getting our hours in over on YouTube because we're going to make it. A transfer. We're going to try to transfer over to YouTube because there's no drama. There's no drama on YouTube and we love that so much. I still haven't got my page back. So we can go live on Paul's phone or Jerry's phone, like on our admins, but um, not on mine. So I guess it's my IP address that they have blocked. So just get this party started. Father in Jesus' name, thank you for this food. Bless these hands as I prepare it. Bless the hands that bought it and bless every mouth that eats it in Jesus' name. Amen. Send them stars, y'all. I need them. Okay, let me, uh, what am I after? Oh, okay, so have to get a little bit of this stuff out. It's cream cheese cream cheese so I'm gonna have to move you guys both but first thing we're gonna do we're gonna cut our beef our green pepper and our onions so I'm gonna turn you all around so that you can see what I'm doing we'll have to do this one at a time so there we go so there's our beef this is this is the London broil let me see Jerry's got y'all in here wrong Shoot. Um, oh, maybe I can, let's see, where is his, okay, wait a minute, I don't know where his camera is, okay, over there, sorry, I have to get familiar with his, let's see how we turn this around, thank you, Melissa, for the superstar, okay, let me turn this around, there it is, okay, so now I'm going to turn you guys over here let's see if y'all can see what i got down here there we go so we're gonna cut this beef up right sure for our instant pot this is a london broil and this is the meat that i'm going to use in our beef stroganoff in the instant pot which will take no time Hardly at all. Okay, I had to throw that away. Okay, let me set these. Tomorrow, I've got shrimp in the sink because tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this into like little squares of meat. I'm just going to dice it up so you got little pieces of, of beef. And it will cook quicker. I mean, like I could throw the whole London broil in there, the whole roast. But we ain't trying to do that. We are not trying to do that, yo. So there it is, right here. So I'm going to cut this up into little squares. And we'll put our seasonings in there. And put a little bit of, we'll use beef broth. We will use some cream cheese. But not at first. At first we're just going to do our meat. And our onions and our peppers and as you can see I'm cutting against the grain on purpose as you can see that yeah, this one shows better as you all can see let me turn this light on so you all can see I do not know how to turn the light on for oh that's my phone so this oh I don't know how to do it for his See, for mine, I believe it's up here. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where did the light go? Let's see, this is different. Let 
me see here. Enable. There it is. God said to let there be light in there, boys. Okay. Okay, let me see if y'all can see all the way over here. Mm. For the most part, but not a whole lot. So we're going to put you up just a little bit like that. Okay. And then, see, I just cut, like, strips. And then we're just going to make like, little squares. Or, not squares, but, you know. Y'all already know. I'm always a day later, dollar short. So there it is. So we'll cut this. Just like that. go over on the other side of the kitchen. There we go. And we'll throw this in the Instapot. Well, first we got to cut our onion and our green pepper. Because I love me some onions and green peppers, y'all. I love them. Just like downtown. I think it's cool that we can do it both. Because I'm trying to work up to 4,000 hours so that I can have the same benefits as I do here. And without the drama, which we will love because there's, there's nobody, none of that com competitive, lying stuff. So, yeah. I guess it's just the difference in the companies. I already know. Okay. Let me get my pan. From our over here. Okay. So, here's my Instapot pan. And I'm just going to throw that beef right in there. We just go throw it all right in that Instapot pan. Just like that. And I will show y'all every step that I do. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Now, we'll get our, our peckers right here. Our green peckers right here. And we're just going to slice them to nice little big squares. Just like that. Don't have to be... Anything fancy, but throw that in the pan. Just like downtown, y'all. Yeah. Just like mama used to make. Or that's what they say, anyway. Hi, Blue. He smells the green pepper. Nope, you ain't getting none this time, son. And then we have our onion. We're gonna cut these into pretty good chunks because they are going to cook out, cook down really good in this Instapot with that beef. So we don't really have to throw that in the Instapot. So we don't really have to cut them down real tiny and dice them or, you know. Because they're going to cook down pretty good. I'll get this like that, like that, and like that. Simple. Okay, now we've got that there. Let me wash my hands. And my little water over here. Rinse them, because I've been touching that beef. Okay, now let me get my spices. Let's see, I think I got them set over here. Okay. So, we are going to put a little bit of black pepper. This is black pepper, so y'all can see. A little bit, about a tablespoon. And I am going to put some um, kosher. This is kosher salt. Just about a teaspoon. Not much. And then we're going to do... This is um, unsalted beef stock. 
And we're going to pour that right into here. Right on top of that beef, that onion. I am going to put a little bit of Italian seasoning in here also. There. So there's our juice right there. Throw this away and grab my Italian seasoning. This is over here. There for our bell. So there's some celery seed. There's my Italian seasoning. It's cumin. What's this? Okay, I have lost the Italian seasoning. Eeny, meeny, 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 Oh, there it is. Okay. I found it. Okay, so I'm going to put some Italian seasoning, about a tablespoon. I'm a guesstimator. A tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and I'm going to do some celery seed. I could do some celery, but I'm going to do celery seed. About a teaspoon of celery celery seed right there okay that's all there is to it now we're going to put this in the instapot so let's go over here i'm gonna hook you guys up just like that just because y'all know okay and this is our instapot over here okay let me bring you guys over here too one at a time y'all one at a time Okay, we'll set y'all over here. There we go. Okay. So now we've got our beef, our beef broth, our onion, our green pepper. Let me... I've got more stuff that's got to go in there, but just not right now. That's our... Our pasta is the last thing that goes in after this cooks. So let's... There we go. Y'all see that? See what that looks like down in here? Y'all will get used to it. Why do I always touch stuff? We do not know. There we go. Okay, let's scoot you back a little bit so you can see. And I gotta plug this in over here. Let me. It's gotta come over more. Too far over. Lord, uh, okay, you heard it. She has power. Let me, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now, let me show y'all. So this is our beef, our onion, our green pepper, our broth, celery seed, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, just like that. Okay, so set that out there. And now we're going to put our lid on it. Well, you know what? Yeah, we're going to put our lid on it. Just like that. Let's set you out back here. Okay, just so y'all can see. I do not know how to turn his light on this. Phone. This is Jerry's phone. So, oh, wait. Let's see here. Any, any, any more? I do not. Maybe it's in here. What's that? Nope. It's not in there. Anyhow, I don't know. Okay, so we have made sure that this is closed. That the back pressure thing is closed, and we're gonna put it on meat and stew. And we're going to go up to, let's do this for about 40 minutes. Just like that. Just like downtown. And I think I can pause this one. Maybe not. Let's see here. Can I pause, y'all? I think I can pause this one. No. I can't pause you, so guess what? Y'all have to go with me in here. Let me flip this around. There we go. There we go. Okay. Look at this, you guys. 
I got y'all side by side. I'm going to have to. Jerry, can you bring your uh, charger in here for me? Look at that. There we go. There. Hi. Okay, so let me sit down here so that y'all can see me. This is a little different. There y'all go. Hi. I'm going to just go reach. No, I just, I want to plug it into my computer. Oh, okay. okay. Because it won't reach. Okay, right here, I believe, is the plug for the computer. So Jerry's phone isn't charged. So I have to... Okay, I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Oh, maybe it's back here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And then we can plug this in here. Power. Is it charging? I guess. I guess it is. So there it is, you guys. What do you think about that? It's going to be a beef stew. It's going to be... Actually, no. Actually, what I'm making is a um, beef stroganoff. But because I'm doing it in the Instapot, the first thing we're going to do is we're cooking the beef with the onion and the, um, the bell pepper and the seasonings on purpose. Jerry, he's talking to you. Yes, uh, he wants a treat, but he's already had it. No, Blue, you've already had a treat. Do you want to get locked into the bedroom? This boy thinks he should have treats all day long, 40 going north. So there it is. What do you guys think? Dude, we was able to go live on Jerry's phone. Hopefully We're digging it. We can dig it. We can dig it. Can you dig it? I can dig it. You can dig it. Hi, Rachel Owens. Y'all make sure you are following, sharing. Please share the stars, sprinkle, splatter, ah! shimmy and shake. Please, please, bless mama with some hearts and some stars. Watch the replays all you can. So my, my page is still locked down. The only way I'm able to go live is on Jerry's phone or Paul's phone. So I am live on Jer Papa Jerry's phone. So there it is. Our apartment application lady. Thank you, Barb, for the superstar. Aw, thank you, Barb Brown. Thank you so much for the stars. You're amazing. So amazing, man. There it is. I know y'all can't do stars yet because I don't have my 4,000 hours in. But that's what we're working for. We are trying to transition over. So we have to get our, our time in. We have to do like 127 short videos, which is cool. Yesterday or the day before, day before, I did a little short video with Moses. When you break out the hose, a German shepherd's right there going in the hose. Did that today. Josie and I went and did our nails, and so we sang a Cheech and Chong song. Did you hear us, Jerry? Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was. It was a Cheech and Chong song, and then also I did like three separate videos of getting my nails done. Y'all look, they're cherries. How cool is that? My nails are cherries. Do you guys get it? Because I cook, so they're fruits. Isn't that groovy? They're cherries, man. I'm digging it. I can dig it. He can dig it. She can dig it. We can dig it. You can dig it, dig it, dig it. So I got up early this morning. Josie and I went to Sturgis. We go to Sturgis, Michigan. And there's a place over there called Hollywood. Hollywood City. And um, Hollywood Nails. And there's a little girl in there that does mine and Josie's nails. Her name is Cindy. Cindy, Cindy. We love us some Cindy. And so every week, or not every week, but I should say every month, 
she comes up. We come up with a different design for my nails because I do food. Last time it was um, lemons. This time it's cherries. Isn't that groovy? I thought that was pretty groovy. See, you can see the double cherries on the ring finger and the rest are all cherries. And at first, Josie was like, um, them kind of look like apples. And I'm like, no, they're cherries. I have found my cherry. I lost it years ago and now I have it. <laughs> there it is. We have a cherry. We have a cherry. We got lots of cherries now. <laughs> there it is. Please press the love. Please, please press the love. Press the love and show me some love. Press the hearts. Please like and follow the lives. I appreciate it. Comment. Do what you got to do. Hey, Kim Swain. So there it is. So you get your page back, you're going to keep Facebook page too, right? Yeah, I'll keep Facebook too. But I am transitioning over to, to YouTube. Okay. I am. That's just like, the... because YouTube, this is the thing with YouTube. I have heard so many different different things about other platforms. And so this, this incident on this platform, not you, but you. Somebody lied and they was able to get away with it. That bothers me. Thank you, Barb Brown, for the superstar. You're awesome. Oh, wow, I see. I was way up at the top. Oh, my goodness. Let's see who... Oh, we can't... Um. Huh, I can't see who sends the stars on here, Jerry. I, well... Uh, well, because it's not mine. We're no. under an admin's phone, so that's probably why. Thank you. Paul got me this chair, Tanya. Paul got this chair for me because of my back. This is what's called a gamer's chair. And so it's very groovy. And it really helps for my back because... Let me show you this chair, you guys. So this really helps for my back. It has this pillow that adjusts up and down. JoJo it's, made bishops and stars. Thank you, JoJo, for this super, super... Super stuff. And so it swivels, you know, it turns. It's really groovy. It has a USB plug that I can plug in that will make this back pillow for my back vibrate. It has, I'll show you guys down here. Karen Tech is a hello. It has a footstool that ouch. That you can Look at how groovy is that. It's got a footstool that you can pull out so you can put your feet up if your legs swell. So nice. It adjusts up and down, and the seat is like double size. And the reason I like this seat is because I've got a very bad back. I've got hardware on my back, the metal and everything. Oh, hang on a second. I know what kicked it. Because my ear was on. You're going to have I go, to. I'll turn mine off. Or do I have to turn yours off? Yeah. Okay. I think it's mine. Sorry, the breaker. Wait. Okay. Karen Jenkins says hi, but. Well, I'm just saying, for some reason, her comments are hidden. Okay. Now, let's see if this makes a difference. Sorry, guys. We're back in business.
Okay, so I live in a small farmhouse, a very small farmhouse, and you can't have the air window, air conditioner on, and the Instapot in the kitchen, or else the circuit breaker will flip. And that's what happened. The circuit break breaker flipped. So there it is. Hi, Karen Tackett. How you doing, man? Long time no see. We have been blocked on the Facebook page, and we still don't have it back under my name. The only reason I'm on is because I'm on Jerry's phone. So that seems to work. So there it is. That's how we do it. So we are in the process of making... Um, Beef stroganoff. And this is, let me read my recipe to y'all. While we're waiting for that beef, I almost, I almost cooked the beef before the live, but I was like, no. Why should I cook the beef before the live? Like, seriously. Let's let them see the spices that I use, everything that I put in there, the beef broth, how I cut the beef, the onions, the bell peppers, the seasonings that I put in there when I first, so I didn't. So I saved it so that I could share it with you. Okay, let me pull up my recipe. Something. Why is this doing this? Well, I think it had to update. Okay. Yeah, it's like being slow. I don't know if because I've, I'm using my phone for something. Or... No! Blow stop. He is bound and determined. This boy. Okay, so... Beef stroganoff. Okay, it's just taking forever to open. I don't even know why. But it is. Okay. Let me scroll down to my... Okay. Boop, 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 boop. This isn't wanting to load. I don't know why. I do pass it. Yep. I'm sure did. Okay. So I got my beef, my beef stock, my onion, my pepper. I was supposed to put butter in there and I didn't, but I will which is two tablespoons of butter. Mushrooms, I will do that later. So see, it is your, it is your air, isn't it? It's gotta be. Okay, so then my air can go on, yours can go on. Okay, garlic, um, beef broth, sour cream, Worcestershire, Dijon mustard, salt, black pepper, and cream cheese. Now my air was still running. It would have kicked if it would have been mine. I don't know so was mine still on? Let me check. I think my... Alexa, turn the bedside lamp off. Mine was still running. You didn't turn, you left yours on, right? No, I turned it off. Oh, no, you didn't turn,
we'll see. Okay, sorry. Small farmhouse. The breaker flips. I thought he turned off my air, but he didn't. So we turned them both off just to press the hearts and show some love. Yes. It's free, just like Facebook. Yes, YouTube is free. All you have to do is download the app on YouTube and um, go follow my page. My page is Mama D. Wade, M-O-M-M-A, D-E-E-W-A-D-E. -E -E. So just download the app just like you do Facebook and you sign in. You create your account, which is free, just like Facebook. Come here. Come here, Blue. Come here. Come here. Do you, do you want to go to your room? You're not getting no more treats. No, nope, no more treats. I'm going to take it. You're home. being a wild bucket of chicken wings. And there it is. And so it's free. You just create an account. And then you go follow the accounts that you like. So it's pretty much uh, so much like Facebook, except it's drama free. There, and you don't have to send stars. It's all done through apps uh, or through ads because when people watch the, the lives or the videos on YouTube and then you watch the ads and then that creates revenue for me. So actually it's freer than FB. So there it is. Because on, F, on FB, they send stars, which Facebook gets a certain percentage of. So, yeah, there it is. Hi, Sugar Drop. How you doing? You can, you can do yeah, both. Melanie, my Melanie page. And you can do both at the same time, too. Yeah, and so, like, right now I'm doing both. I'm absolutely doing both. And so I'm on Jerry's phone. With uh, today at physical therapy, I sliced my arm on something, and it started bleeding like a sieve. So we got a band-aid on it. But yeah, today Josie and I went and got our nails done. I went to physical therapy, and then I came home. Oh no, I stopped at the market because I had to get some, um, you know, like um, what did I? I had to get another can of cream of mushroom. Because that's one of the things that you put in the, in the, um, yeah, in the beef stroganoff is cream of mushroom. You don't have to pay Facebook $15 when I, somebody asked if you had to pay $15. No. No, Facebook is free. I don't know where that's yeah. coming from. If you do pay on Facebook, that means that you are, you have subscribed to somebody's channel which you can do on YouTube also. You can, but on YouTube you subscribe, but it doesn't cost to subscribe on YouTube. But there is another level that you can pay like the $4.99 to support the um, influencer on YouTube if you choose. You know, people do do that. And so it's just, it's pretty much the same. The only difference is you don't have to send stars on YouTube. And Facebook, you don't have to, but you have the option where you can. You know, so. Oh, bull. Blue. Jerry, that, uh, that um, pillow is on the floor there. So look at you. Do you guys want to see something just as cute as anything? Let me show you what my baby's doing here. Look, I will show y'all first. Do you see him? Are you looking at mama? Huh? You want to come in here with mama? Do you? Jerry, let him in here. Who wants to come in here? Wait, let me show them. Let me show y'all. Okay, wait a minute. Let me turn you around. Now we got to show these ones. Look at him. He had his head. He lifted his head up. Now he had his head laying on the step. You want to come in here? Hi. 
There he is. He just wanted to come in here with Mama. He is a mama's boy. Come here, give me some kiss. Give me a kiss. Come That's here, buddy. Hi. Hi, baby. Come here, give me a kiss, Mama. Moses. Thank you. Mmm, so good. He's so happy. I'm mean, so happy. He's so happy to come in here. They blew along. They blew along. Hey, you want to go home, Momo? I will make you go home if you don't leave the little boy alone. Look at him. Look at him smell. Oh, he just stole Blue's treat out of his chair. Well, Blue didn't want it. I I get it. <laughs> he just stole Blue's. Now he's going around sniffing all the cushions to see if Blue has another treat head. Come here. Give me a hug. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. I love you. I, oh, I love you. Are you a good boy? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? I love you. I love you. You tell Mama. I love you. Mama, tell Mama. Come here. Sit down. Tell me. Can you whisper? Can you whisper? Yeah, I love you. You tell Mama. I love you. Yeah. You, oh, goodness. Rotten. These kids are rotten. I love you. Okay. He's like, okay, then. I'm done. I'm over it. Are you over it? You are? Look at him smell everything. He's got to smell everything. You're loving the clarity on the pony. Yeah. Yay, you love the clarity? That's way better than... The Casey Adore! Who? Hi, little girl. How you doing, my girl? I really enjoyed y'all being here. But look, we got to teach you some stuff. You don't have to give everything away. You are so much like me. It's unreal. I'm like, oh, my gosh. When you meet somebody that is just like you, you don't know how to handle it. And Casey from Casey Adore Handbags and More, this girl... She is so much like me. It's unreal, y'all. This girl, so her and Dennis and Kat came over Saturday, and we all had a barbecue and played yard games and just spent time together with the kids and Paul and Josie and Parker. And we had such a good time. I mean, so Casey is just like... She she's really a lot like me. Like I see she like she is a giver. She and I'm a giver. And she's a giver. And when a giver tries to give to a giver, they go, Wait a minute. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Yay, she's doing fantastic. So yeah. So it was awesome. It was a wonderful weekend. It was really, really a wonderful weekend. It was just like, she was just like a part of the family. And this is what's ironic. So if y'all know my Paul at all, Paul is not real comfortable around strangers. Paul has to... You know, he's just, he's just not. Y'all know how Paul is. Paul isn't comfortable around strangers. It's just it's pretty much, Josie's like her mom. She loves people. But Paul's a little standoffish. He took to her. Let me tell you something. Paul took right to Casey and Dennis and Kathy. Like they actually, he hugged them when they got ready to go. And I was like, whoa mind-blowing I was just like it really blew my mind because she has that kind of disposition like she's just a part of the family like she's just one of us she acts like one of us she she's just you know just blended and Kathy just blended and Dennis was kind of like it reminded me of Jerry he stand back and he'd go you know, yeah, I just, I love them. So y'all make sure you are following um, 
KC, the letter K, the letter C, adore handbags and more. Because she is one of my very good friends now. And I love her. I know, so do you, Casey. She said, you just need to enjoy the love. So do you, because now you've, you've created this relationship with us and I love you back. So you got to let me love you back too. Marlene Gates said, okay, I can smell that beef. Can you smell that beef? Y'all, mm -hmm. I wish y'all had smell-o-vision. It smells so good in here. Roni V. Florida, you are on here too. Yes, I am. I'm on both of them. I'm on Jerry's phone and I'm on my phone. They need to go see that movie. What movie? Sound the of Sound Freedom. of Freedom. Mm -hmm. So we went to see that movie, The Sound of Freedom. You guys, oh my goodness, today. That was such an amazing movie. It was about sex trafficking and how this one police... No, he was an FBI agent, wasn't he? Uh, Homeland Security, yeah. Homeland Security. He saved so many children and adults. It was such... And it's a true story. And I was really digging this. At the end of the movie, it says in the bottom right-hand corner, stay tuned. And, you know, stay in your seat. And because we have something to share with you. And at the end of the movie, at the Sound of Freedom, like, you know, it showed, like, the, the true faces of the people that had, um, this had happened to. And, um of the, the the homeland security officers that participated in it and and then it gave like a little uh, barcode scan where you could literally purchase tickets for other people that can't afford to pay for a ticket to go see it. And I was like mind blowing. I was like not see, like not only are they ha have they reached out to help people that can't afford things, but it, they're doing more than that. They're paying for people to see the ticket so that or to see the movie so that they can be aware of what happens and how it happens and how easily you can be fooled and deceived. And it's just amazing, amazing. And they, they, he said at the end of the movie, when he was sharing all these details, he said at the end of the movie, it took five years to be able to get this in the theaters because the hardcore people that do these things fought it every step of the way because they don't want you to be aware of how easily you can be fooled and how it can happen. So if you get the opportunity, I'm telling you, go see The Sound of Freedom. Do it. If you can't afford the ticket, you tell them at the box office you can't afford it and they will give you a free ticket. I think that's amazing. I think that's a blessing. I mean, that's groovy. That I just thought, wow, that was so cool to me. And so um, Jerry and I purchased some tickets so that others can see that can't afford it, you know? I know, right, Casey? Words are powerful. Aren't they powerful? I agree, Casey. Leave him alone, Mama. Just saying, my camera, camera on my phone is better than the camera on your phone. Really? Which is wild because... Wow, that's wild because mine's an Apple and Jerry's is a Samsung? No, uh, no a Motorola. Motorola. So this camera right here is a Motorola. This right here is an Apple 13. So yeah, so it's weird that this one is a better camera. Isn't that interesting? Until so we... did you guys go over to YouTube and, and distinguish the difference between the lives? 
Tully said what, Jay? Her and Paul hopefully be moving to Mississippi in September or October. Yay! We will be there in November. We are coming to Mississippi, well, Louisiana, actually. And Mississippi, too. Yeah, and Mississippi, too. But um, mostly, this is Jerry's trip to see his family. And so we will be staying in Raceland. We will be in Raceland, um, Louisiana, which is kind of like around, like it sets in the middle between New Orleans and Homa and Thibodeau and Baton Rouge and it's just like you know all these is around it so he's going to be able to go everywhere you know he wants to go to Baton Rouge and see the house that he lived in when he was small when his mom was alive and you know so yeah so we have plans we've got a lot of followers that um, live in Louisiana and we plan on having a little meet and greet with them you know, we're going to, like, meet at a, a restaurant or some probably Waffle House. <laughs> you all know how I love me some Waffle House. And, um, yeah, so we're going to do a little meet and greet in Louisiana. And we're real excited about that, ain't we, Papa? Yes, we are. Drew Breeze has a restaurant down there, too. Oh, Drew, Drew Breeze has a restaurant down there. So Papa may want to do that, you know, to Sound of Freedom watched on my phone what a powerful movie i did share rona Roni. i shared the link on my youtube on one of my video shorts there's no sound i don't know why there was no sound but i did share the link on my youtube page where if you want to purchase some tickets so that those that can't afford can go see it by all means, use that link, like, and it'll it'll help you get to where you need to go. Okay, so look at Momo. onions, mushrooms, butter, flour. I'm gonna use oat flour, as you guys know. Beef broth, Dijon mustard, sour cream, salt and pepper. Yeah. So yeah, there it is. I'm just kind of comparing the difference in these recipes. Y'all know how I roll. I want to see the difference. I want to see why your recipe is different than this recipe. This is a 30 minute one. And I'm using the Spyro noodles instead of the egg noodles. How long can you be live on YouTube? As long as I want to. I can be live on YouTube as long as I want to. Facebook is eight hours. I think YouTube is eight hours also. So that's groovy. I like it. Now, Instagram, one hour. And that's where I usually go do my prayers is Instagram because it's an hour. But that's kind of putting limits, isn't it? So we may just stay on here and do our prayers. Okay, so this one is beef beef steak butter i should have put butter in there I, I didn't realize onions mushrooms green pepper garlic paste minced or pressed um a half a cup of dry white wine hmm. beef stock worcestershire all-purpose flour i'm using oat flour y'all already know um, sour cream, or you can use yogurt. I didn't realize that before. Parsley. Yeah. See, my, my, um, my ingredients are a little different than these. My, my recipe calls for, um, cream cheese. My Some milkshake is better than yours. Cream cheese and cream of mushroom soup. And, of course, I got cream and mushroom soup with no salt. <laughs> Y'all already know how I roll. So, there it is. So, it's kind of hard to go back and forth. <laughs> Yay, Melissa Jackson, you're on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my page on YouTube. 
Make sure you're following it. Press them hearts. And make sure yeah. you're showing the love. Show the love, y'all. Show the love. There it is. Okay, I think we are ready to go back into the the kitchen. I think it's been about 30 minutes, hasn't it? What are you talking about? You leave Moses alone, Blue. Moses just laying here. You just been in Blue standing here. He was talking to you. Yeah, him is. Come here. Oh, oh thank you. Mm -mm. My baby. This is my pretty baby. Yes, you are. I love you. You love Mama? Momo? Come here. Come here. Sit down. You love Mama? You do. You do? Hey, you love me? Yeah? <laughs> he said, yeah. You tell me. Isn't he a doll, baby? You tell me I love you. Uh, okay, uh, go for it. Uh, yes, I know. Thank you. So be a good boy. Uh, I, love, I love you. Shh, whisper. Whisper. You're in the house, you have to whisper. Should we go check that beef? Do you guys think that beef is done in the Instapot? What do y'all think? Let me go get that little Instapot booklet. Saying hello from Del Delaware. New Delaware. New Delaware. Fran Johnson, new to Facebook. Okay, we got 15 minutes left, y'all. You know what? So, I ordered some oat flour, organic oat flour online. Let me get my glasses Just a second so I can see. I thought this was groovy and now I can see the comments nobody answered my question what's the insta pot it's the same as a pressure cooker yes it is sorry Kim Somebody Kimberly it is an insta pot is like a pressure cooker and so it cooks the beef like quickly in 20 minutes and makes it very um, tender and fall apart. 
mother-in-law is now on YouTube too, Diane Jackson. Wow, that's cool. I'll have to go follow her. So anyhow, I ordered some um, oat flour because I use oat flour now. I don't use all-purpose flour. I use oat flour because it does exactly like all-purpose flour, but the body processes it easier. I have liver disease. It doesn't cause any problems with my liver where all-purpose flour does. It has less carbs. It's just healthier for your body. And so um, it was cheaper online and it was um, or organic. And they sent me a little gospel track with it. I thought that was so cool. They sent a gospel track with it. And I'm like, what's this? The gospel according to John. I thought that was really groovy, man. I think it was like an Amish site or something that I that I ordered that oat flour from. Quite a possibility. You got a couple of people watching you on both Facebook and YouTube. Wow, that's cool. You guys are watching me on both? Look, look. Where do I look? I don't know where to look. <laughs> there it is. We'll scoot you guys over here so it looks like I'm looking at you both. How about that? Okay, how we do that? There it is. And I thought... So this week, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to do both. I'm going to try to do both to the best. Um, I will be doing three lives this week. Four, no, four lives. Um, let me see. I will tell you what my lives are. Let me, let me go in here. Aww. What, honey? Lisa Madison says hello, Lisa Mama Madison. Dean. I just love you. Hi. You always make my day. Aw, Lisa, I've missed you guys so much. We're just waiting for Meta to release my page back to me. I can't go live on my phone, so I've been transitioning to YouTube. And it was supposed to be between 24 and 48 hours, but it hasn't been. I haven't got an email or nothing, so... Oh, I have to log in. Okay. Have to do my password. Right there. There we go. It's making me log in again. I don't know if it's because it's like I'm live on Jerry's phone or... Okay, now what was I... Oh, my... I was going to do my, let me, let's see, how do I go to my other page on here? This is weird, account warning, only you can see this. We understand that mistakes happen, so we didn't restrict your account, and Josie is live. Josie's live for what? I don't understand. Oh, it's an account warning. Okay, so how do I change? I don't know how to do it on here, you guys. Maybe I touch on here. No. What no. are you trying to do? I'm trying to switch over to to Mama D's. Oh, right there, I found it. Right there. Okay. No. Let me. Let me pull up. Events. Oh, oh I don't. I didn't do the events, did I? No, I have them in my phone.
There we go. Charlie said it'll be the full seven days. So. It will be a full seven days that I'm blocked? Probably. It will be the full seven days. Why seven? That's not what they told me on the phone. They called me on my way for dinner. Come on, Joe. Why seven days, Tully? I don't understand. Blue and Moses, stop. I'll fix this up for you. Okay, let me go to my... Where I have my lives... And I've, I've saved them on my, my D-Wade right there. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm making. Of course, I'm, oh, I'm going to make some shrimp fried rice. I'm going to make my... Uh, today, my beef. I'm going to make okra soup, which is made with shrimp. Shrimp and okra soup. And I'm going to make my chicken roll-ups. So that's four lives this week. I did want to do, which I will probably do in the evening, a couple other recipes on YouTube, which is the waffle iron cookies and i'm here hi doris Whittaker. why are you because somebody lied and said that i uh threatened them and i didn't oh someone actually talked to you to update that's awesome yeah they actually they called me so so I I spoke with somebody on a messenger and Paul also spoke with somebody on a messenger and then Meta called me and we spoke. Her name was Francesca, a wonderful, polite little girl. And um, she told me it would be between 24 and 48 hours once they review the threat and then they will gather all the information of the person that falsely reported me and um, I will be able to prosecute them. So there it is. Thanks for Paul. I know, right, Joe? Like, Paul, he just knows what to do. Like, he really knows stuff. He knows what to do, but so what's happening is it really gets old how people can falsely report you and they take everything away from you. And this happens on Facebook all the time, more and more and more. And because of that, people are leaving this platform and they're going to other platforms because the other platforms don't you know, they're, they don't put up with the drama and they, before they do anything and before they react, they make sure they research it, research before they react to anything so that you're not put out because of a bully or a liar or a jealous person that, you know, wants to cause harm. And so, yeah, so that's, and that's why everybody is going to other platforms like YouTube and TikTok and things like that because they don't react in the moment like Facebook does. And so Facebook just, they react immediately. And so, and they block the influencer instead of, you know how the saying goes, innocent until proven guilty. On Facebook, you're guilty until proven innocent. And so that's what happens on here. So people are leaving and going to other platforms because they're not persecuted for things that they didn't do. You know, other, so on other platforms, the other influencers, they're not out to get anybody. 
Oh, shoot, I just busted my glasses. Son of a gun. Is that your Raiders or your... Oh, I just pulled the, uh... Thank God I have, like, 50 million pair. Tully said they've been messing no. with Jess and Liam for... There we go. We'll just do one. We don't care. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, they do. They uh, mess with everybody. It's the other influencers. For some reason, Facebook influencers are competitive, jealous, um threatened by other ones and and i don't roll like that like i am not the one i just don't roll that way if you are being successful i'm happy for you i will support you i will help you you know i and that's how i roll but everybody don't roll that way everybody isn't mature enough to say i'm happy for you no they yeah, no. they go after you and they try to shut you down, and um, which is childish. They just haven't reached a maturity level where they're able to be happy for people and support other people instead of being jealous and immature and you know what I mean? Thank you, Lisa, for the super, super, super star. Jerry, do you know where my other glasses are? I might have a pair in my purse. Let me see. I think there's a pair on the car. I, I Yeah, but I have my blue ones in here somewhere. And I don't know if I put them in my... Let me check my purse. Look at my purse. I love my purse. I got my purse from Casey. Casey, adore sunshine and more. I'm telling y'all. I love this woman. She has got some amazing stuff. Ah! Nope, no glasses in there. Well, goodness, boo boo. Here is my. Oh. oh. I hear the bee. I hear the. The Instapot. Let me grab. It's a big, thick, black eyeglass piece. Okay, y'all. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen and check out this this beef. Scroll, don't troll. Scroll, don't troll. Papa said. Okay. Okay, so now let me set y'all up here. And I'm going to turn you all around here. Enable flash. There we go. And just so you can see. And Jerry's is different, so there we go. Okay. Now, so this is how you release the, the pressure. Just like you pull that forward and you see this silver thing right here? That will go down as the pressure 
releases. I usually push it down. See? Because it helps relieve the pressure. Just like down. Oh man, that smells mighty fine. This smells so good, y'all. I wish you had smell of vision. And that's how you release the pressure. Or you don't have to release the pressure. You can let it slowly release itself as it cools. And then it will release the pressure on its own. Which will just cook it more thoroughly. But I think 30 minutes is plenty of time for this beef. There, that. There. And so once that silver thing goes down, and then that means that the pressure has been relieved, so you can turn just like that. Okay, so now I want to show y'all how it looks once it's cooked. So that's what it's looking like. You see the pepper and the onions and the beef and the broth? That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can. Hmm. So I know you guys, I can definitely sit over the top like this and let you watch. But this one, I may have to hold Jerry's phone. Just so, let me see. Or maybe I can set it back here. Let me see if I can set it back here. Oops, let me scooch y'all over here. There we go, and we can set Jerry's phone here and try to, so y'all can see down in there, yeah? Oh, you can see the back of my phone. Okay, wait. how about we put you there and we put you here. There we go, yes. And we'll scooch y'all back a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna do the rest of what it calls for. Y'all both can, whoops. Okay, let me scoot this so y'all ain't gonna be falling all over the place. There we go, okay. Okay, now, we are going to put some butter in there. So let me open my butter. And it called for two tablespoons of butter. So let me get me a spoon because, or here's the knife I used to cut the, Okay, so we'll put two tablespoons of butter in there, just like that, and it calls for one can of mushrooms, so we got, I put my Pennsylvania Dutch mushrooms and stems y'all can see throw that can away all right um some garlic powder two tablespoons of garlic powder right there two tablespoons of parsley there we go Parsley, I'll stir that in. I'll stir that in a lot. And this is what the meat looks like. It's so tender, y'all. You know what? Let's take a picture of that. Let's see how... I'm not sure how to take a picture with Jerry's. Oh, this is mine. Look at that. Okay, so that's with our garlic and our, and then let me open my can of cream of mushroom soup. Okay. Usually I have this open. What? 
So this is what we're doing. Cream of mushroom, unsalted. I'll show y'all. Cream of mushroom, unsalted. Let me get my little scraper here. And we'll scrape that in there. Just like that. Cream of mushroom soup. Just like that. Scrape the whole can right in there. And I get unsalted because salt destroys your body. Destroys your heart. Destroys your liver. So, I really am trying to be heart smart and healthy. Even though I fail sometimes. And I don't do it perfectly. Okay, next I'm going to put some cream cheese four ounces of cream cheese in there let me open it there we go okay so cream cheese i have an eight ounce brick but we're just going to be using half of that so i'll cut that right in half and we'll put that right in there, just like that. So half of a brick of cream cheese, which is four ounces. And that will melt right into your stroganoff. Just try to cut it up in pieces. That's what I try to do. Okay. Sour cream. It calls for one cup of sour cream. So we're going to put one cup of sour cream, just like that. Let me stir it. So that's our sour cream and our cream cheese. go and I'm going to smash that cream cheese against the wall just because it helps to break it up or against the side just like that and we'll stir it just like that see a little bit right there there we go I smashed it There's one. Just stir it and look for the little chunks of the cream cheese. And just, or you can cut it up before you put it in there if you want to. I just prefer to not lose any and just put it in there and smash it with my slotted spoon. Because then the all of it's going to be in there. Just like that. Okay, next I'm going to put my gravy, which is a roasted beef. Let me see if I can see if I can show you guys. Roasted beef gravy right here. I'm going to put a roasted beef gravy and a mushroom, a mushroom gravy mix. Mushroom gravy mix. And so I'm going to put both of these. Let me get my scissors because you all know my hands. And then we'll sprinkle that right in there. That was the mushroom, as you get can guess. Right there. And then this is the roast beef. Gravy mix. go. There's the roast beef and the mushroom gravy mix. And we're going to mix that up so that that dissolves in there. Just like that. Okay. 
And that looked mighty fine. And now we're going to put the lid back on. We are not putting the noodles on yet on purpose because we don't want mush. We want our noodles to be... So we put that on. We'll turn this back to close. This has to be closed back here. Let me set y'all up so you can see. So this right here has to be closed. Make sure y'all can see. And then I'm going to go back to the... Wait, let me cancel right there. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the beef stew meat. Except we are going to go for 10 minutes. We don't need all that time that we had before. So we're going to go 10 minutes and start there. And then we're just going to let that cook just like that. And the only thing that we have to add now is the noodles. Because we've added everything else. But we just have to wait for 10 minutes for this to cook. And this will be a lot quicker. As you can see, that's already that, that silver thing is already starting to come up. So, yeah. So there it is. Oh, let me turn you all around here. There we go. So we'll give that another 10 minutes. And let that cook. We'll set you all right here. Oops, let me readjust you because, you know, I had to readjust you for there we go. And let's plug Papa Jerry's phone in so you don't die. And once that's done, we will add our noodles in. It's plugged in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Once that's done, we will add our noodles in there. And it takes like five minutes to cook them noodles because it's so hot. Because it's been under pressure, it takes no time at all. Too little it's good without the noodles. I know, right? You could pour that over mashed potatoes, man. Or bread. Or bread or, or biscuits. Yeah. Oh, I was going to make some biscuits. Yeah. Why don't you come over here and talk to them and I'll throw some biscuits in. But it you does have me? pasta. We don't really no, need any more bread. Okay. You know what happens to me? My right leg, I had a total knee replacement on my right leg, right? And it's so weird because once you have a total knee replacement, they had to build up some of my knee. And so it, um, like the outside of my leg is numb from where the nerves was cut and wasn't reattached easier or something. And so now what happens, and it's so weird sometimes, I get this little, like, like a, it feels like something's crawling on your leg or something, kind of like that on the back of, of that leg. And it, it just, and I always think there's something back there. And every time I look, there's nothing. It's just, I don't know if it's a nerve that vibrates back there. Hi, Lenny's heart. Aw. So nice. Twitch. Yeah, like a twitch, Melanie. Yeah, kind of like that. And so, like, it's so odd how it happens, you know. Instapot sounds good, too. For pepper steak. Yes, Roni. Absolutely. The thing I like about the Instapot is because it really does reduce the time that, that you can cook things. And beef, it makes it so tender. It just falls apart in your mouth. It just melts in your mouth. And the same... Dolores Kinney said, tell me about it. Ever since I've been having to deal with IBS, my entire body from the head to the toes is sore. That's what I have a hard time walking. You know, I've been going to, um, it's been five years since I had my back surgery. And so it's starting to really, really act up where I have um, stenosis 
and I have spondylitis. And so we knew this was going to happen. With them two diseases, the spondylitis, it makes my, my um, spine vertebrae brittle, and which causes the discs to blow easy. And my stenosis plugs the nerve tunnels. And so this is so funny. When I, when I went to physical therapy, I have to go through physical therapy before they can do an MRI to see exactly what has gone wrong in there so they know what to fix. And the spine surgeon told me this is something that was going to happen. We knew that um, the back was going to do this down the road because of the diseases that I have in my spine. And so I went in and he said, so, so what are they planning on doing? And I said, well, I have to go to physical therapy. And once I get through phys physical therapy and then I'll be able to have um, an MRI, you know, done on my back so they can figure out exactly what's going on in there. And um, and then probably they'll have to blow my tunnels out, my nerve tunnels. And that man laughed. He said, I never heard anybody explain it like that. You have to blow your tunnels out. I'm like, yep. I don't know if they take a roto rooter and just blow them nerve tunnels out or what, but they need blowed out. Because what happens is with uh, stenosis, the nerve tunnels in the spine gets plugged with um, inflammation is what stenosis is. And so they have to, if they don't clean them out, what will happen is that inflammation or that, like that, the stenosis will get so thick in the nerve tunnels, what will happen is it will pinch off my nerves. And so, and then we have like lots of problems. Y'all already know what happens when you get a pinched nerve. It's like the pain is unbearable and it's, ugh. and it's starting to get to that point. So I do like a lot of ice cold showers, um, you know, or I'll have Jerry fill up that little pool and I'll set in there, you know, with the ice cold water or whatever. And so, yeah, so I anticipate probably, I know, it goes down my legs, down my put, butt cheek, plus I have a stenosis, not stenosis, I have stenosis, but I also have a spondy, not spondy, I have spondylitis. What's the other thing? Psychiatric. Sciatica. Dude, me and words. Let me tell you something, and, and I just found out through my spondylitis team. This is interesting. Y'all know how I mispronounce everything. That's part of the spondylitis process in the brain. It causes you not to remember words or say them different, backwards or funny, misconstrued. Isn't that weird? I'm like, I do that all the time. And my kids are like, Mom, talk right. And I try to talk right, but I can't talk right because spondylitis causes it. And now I know. So now when they yell at me and say, talk right, pronounce your words right, I'll be like, I can't. My spondylitis pronounces words for me. <laughs> there it is. Isn't that interesting? You too. You get fussed at too. See? You tell them. That's part of the spondylitis process, man. Because it, it makes the, the vertebrae um, crumbly, soft, and it, it goes right up into the brain, man. Isn't that crazy? My husband talks like that. He has me. Yeah, me too. I talk like that too. My knee hurts. And my one foot hurts from, oh, my feet, my legs, my, my hips. When I try to walk my hips, y'all. Oh, man. And I don't know if that's from my spine, but I'm going to find out when I go back to the, to the spine doctor. Once I get through this, um, oh, bull. 
Oh. Once I get through this um, physical therapy, and then I get to go to see the spine doctor, I'm going to find out oh. why do the hips hurt when I walk? Why? Yeah. Fix it. How can we fix the hips? Please, let's fix the hips. You know? And so, yeah. I sent Paul a thing of these because I got them on sale. He loves... When he seen I, I had him some cashews, he got excited. <laughs> Pray for me. I go tomorrow to see what day I go for back surgery. Nancy, post that on the prayer page. Mama D's prayer request and praise reports. Hi, Cindy Marshall. Thank you, Nancy. Let's see. I do two on top of rheumatoid. Oh, Roni, wow. I have no disc in my L5 and L4. On the right or the left side of your neck, it's swelling. I had an x ray yesterday. So, wow, that's interesting. My L4 and my L5, I have no disc. They had to put spacers in there. You know, with the, with the steel rods and the cage and the screws. So, my L4 and L5 discs have spacers in there to space the uh, spine apart. Oh, that's interesting. And you know what? I have a problem in my neck, the right side. It goes up into the back of my brain. Come here, baby. Oh, you want a peanut? Oh, I thought I'd hear pain three feet lower. Huh? I thought I'd hear pain three feet lower. Uh-uh. You your pain in your neck. No more lunch, cashew. Yep, you ready? Come up here. Good. Sit down. Y'all see him? That's it. Good, good job. Yeah. Here you go, baby. Ready? That's it. Watch it. Good job. Are you, Ooh, going, you are you going to go on any more vacations anytime soon? In November, we're going to Louisiana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like my neck. Colleen Mike says, hi, Mama. Hi. Alberta chick. Mmm, my Alberta chick, Colleen. Okay. We like a cashews? Yeah. My babies. These are my boys. Hey, you be nice to Blue. Nope, leave him alone. I'll make you go home. You want to go home? You be nice to Blue. Huh, yeah. Yeah, honey, gotta be nice to you, huh? Yeah, good boy. Gotta be nice to boo-boo. You want me to hold your hand? I'll hold your hand. How you do? Wanna hold this hand? Give me. Give me, I hold it. How you do? <coughs> I love you, too. Such a talkback person. You have to go body. Dog. <coughs> mm, you gotta go outside? <coughs> Right now, he said. Right now. Yep. So there it is. I can put it back in my I'm home. only 59 and my body is of a 90-year-old. Wow, Roni. Come Finland, Mama and Papa. <laughs> Melly said to come to Finland. Almonds are healthy. Almonds are very healthy. Cashews are good for your teeth. Did you know that? The oil in the cashew prevents... Um, 
cavities. Cavities. I love pistachios. I love all kinds of nuts. I like... I like walnuts. I like almonds. I like... I love cashews. Cashews my favorite nut. I like uh, Brazil nuts. I like pistachios. I like pecans. I love pecans. I love raw pecans. Because raw pecans taste like... Um, they have like a little sweet flavor to them. I'm just hanging in there for my 13-year-old little shih tzu. And then I'll have no more reason to... No, don't say that. I rebuke that, Dolores. You have us, man. We have you and you have us and we need you. I need you. Don't say that, girl. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Dude. Nope. We rebuked that, Dolores. We're keeping you. You're a keeper. Kitty said, I deal with R-A-P-S-A -S and fibromyalgia. My knees, hands, and wrists are flaring up. It's so hard to get... I know. Oh, my gosh. So hard to get motivated. I just... Just to move most, most days. I tunnel something. I couldn't read the rest of that. Hi, Michelle Longwitz. All here. Yep, we are. Too many makes me not boo-boo. LOL. Oh, I could smell that. Y'all, I wish y'all could smell that. I wish y pecans and Brazil nuts are my favorite. I know I love them. Brazil nuts, my mom used to call Something toes. Yeah. Thank you. This is a Timu shirt, I think. Either this is Timu or um, Sheen. Paul got for me. Either Paul or Barb. I th or Linda. Linda and Barb or Paul. I don't know. I might have been Linda. I might have been Linda and Barb. Yes, Dolores can me can me make commend many me. Hey Mama D and Jerry, I've been quiet lately because I just don't like to whine about my chronic pain. Here's some st Aw, I love you and God bless you. Thank you, gay Pritchett. You're so thank you. You're wonderful. God bless you, honey. Are all things from Timu okay? Yeah, pretty much. Cindy Marshall, I love Timu. I am so addicted to Timu. I am. I just ordered some earrings from Timu. They was like a dollar fifty-seven or something. So pretty. Amadi, I sent you a card. Did you get it? No. Anna, I did not. Nothing came in the mail today. I know you feel with your knee. I had double knee. I know how you feel. Y yeah, Gail. Is the side of your leg numb from your knee replacement? Like the side of my leg? Like from... Like, so this is the, my knee that I had the total knee replacement. It was so bad they had to build the bone on the top and the bottom with um, bone cement, whatever that is. The, the cartilage was completely gone and it was bone on bone and the bone had been chiseled and chipped off so bad. So they had to build it up with bone cement and it's numb from about, let me feel. From right here, let me show you guys. Let me turn so you can see. So right here, numb, 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 to about right down there, to about halfway down my calf. This is all numb. 
I, I have no feeling there at all. You stop. Did you say something about a pecan or something? Yeah, pecan? About yeah. the pecans? I love pecans and I love pecan. almonds. Yeah, because somebody... Karen. Thank you for saying... Bye. We love you, man. Somebody said what? Hip replacement. Thank you, Thank you for saying pecan like God intended it. Oh, okay. Instead of pecan. I sent you a card. Didn't know. I know you feel. <gasps> yes. My dog is barking at your dog. Cindy Marshall. That's so funny. Her dog's barking at my dog. That is hilarious. Mine's numb from where your starts to the bottom of my knee. Oh, mine goes down past my knee to about the middle of my thigh. Or not my thigh, my calf. The middle of my calf. Calf. Yeah, Mama, can you offer a prayer now for Dolores? Yes. For Dolores, the one that said it wants her dogs gone, Janice? Absolutely, we can. Father, in Jesus' name right now, Lord, we lift Dolores up before you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we speak life into her mind, into her spirit, into her heart. Lord, give her the will to live. In Jesus' name, we rebuke the enemy from coming against her and making her feel like she has no reasons. But Lord, we speak life into her. Holy Spirit, go before her, draw her with your, with your, with your will to live, with life and comfort. In Jesus' holy name, we ask it. Amen. 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 Yeah, people don't yeah. understand, Cindy. If they've never experienced this kind of pain, yeah. they don't. They don't know. They have no idea. They don't understand. <coughs> Mama D, if you don't mind, how old are you? I'm 63. I'm 60. Oh, <coughs> it's done. We got to go back to the kitchen. We're going to finish up meal. We're going to finish dinner. It's time to finish the dinner. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. Yay. I'm 63 years old. I am 63 years Oh, my gosh. It smells so good, y'all. Okay, so let me put you guys up here. Let me put y'all over here. Look at y'all looking at each other. Okay. There, we'll set y'all up there so you can see that. I want to turn y'all around because it's easier if I can turn the light on here. Let me flip you around. Right there. It's enabled the... There we go. Okay. Okay, move all this stuff. And this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use rotini. Yellow pea pasta. If y'all can see. Rotini, 100% yellow peas. So it's healthier. Okay, now I'm going to release the pressure again. Can y'all see that pressure being relieved a little bit? Yeah. See if y'all can see it. There you go. So we're leaving the pressure. You see this little silver thing? I push that down. Because it helps release the pressure. Look at that beef juice squirt out of there, y'all. Can you see that beef juice squirting? Because it's so hot in there, it's boiling. So we're releasing the pressure. It's spitting all over. I'm going to have to wipe everything down. See, it's still 
So once we get that silver thing back there to go down, then that means the pressure's all been released. Okay, I can't handle this. Let me get my water cloth. It's making me feel gross. Okay. Look at that. It's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. Back here. Up on the sides. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's over. Ouch. That was hot. Okay. At least I was able to wipe a little bit of it. Okay, now let's push that silver thing back down. Okay, now it's down. Put this in the sink. Okay, so now all we have to do is add our our noodles. And I'm adding the rotini. And it only takes about five minutes for this rotini to cook in here. And it will absorb a lot of that juice. Look at that bowl. Look at that bowl, y'all. Can y'all see that bowl? Did you see that bubble? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right here. Oops. Okay, let me... There it is. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to dump the rotini in there. like that. There we go. And we will just let that absorb all that juice. I'm going to throw this stuff away. I got so much trash over here. And that's all there is to it. And once our pasta is soft, we can have some dinner. So according to the package directions on this, it says, okay, bring water to a boil, add the pasta, until desired firmness, nine minutes or more al dente and 12 minutes for a softer. So we're going to put this over the top of that. We're going to seal that off. We're going to push 10 minutes on our timer. And then it'll be done. And we're just going to let it set in there for 10 minutes. And then we'll take pictures. And we will serve Papa. Let me put all this stuff in the refrigerator. This butter. This cream cheese. This sour cream. Set it in there. Just like that. Just like downtown. Put this stuff in the sink. Wipe my stove down a little bit just because we'll leave that parsley out because we will sprinkle some on top to make it pretty. There we go. Put a spoon there. Oh, this is all going to have to be wiped down, man. I have made a mess over here, y'all. They do not call me Grace for nothing. Okay, so I guess we can go get our, let's see, we're going to use bowls. So I will set the bowls out right there. Let me throw this away. Just trying to organize y'all. 
Papa likes forks and I like spoons. Okay. Put them up there. Put these back in here. Just like that. Just like downtown. There we go. Okay. So we got 10 minutes, actually eight minutes now. There it is. Y'all want to see each other? There you go. Y'all looking at each other. Okay, let's go back in here. Look at that good looking chair right too. I love this chair, man. There we go. Okay, let me set you up here. There we go. Yay! And that's how you do it. It's that simple. And then all we have to do. Oh, thank you, Melly. It's almost dinner time. Now all we have to do is wait for that that pasta to absorb that water and get the the juice. And and yeah. And then we get to do it. I'm curious if I can. I'm, I'm going to see something here. So I have Paul's iPad. He made fun of my iPad he gave me. He's like, Mom, is this my iPad? I said, yeah. And he's like, it's so much smaller than my new one. I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can. I think I can. Let me see. I might be able to listen. Oh my God. I think I can. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. I got to turn my Bluetooth off here. Okay. I had to turn my Bluetooth off here so that I could. Okay. Now let me turn it back on because it needs to. Just go. Blue, stop. I don't, I don't know what it wants. Come on. You gotta go potty. Come on. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to see no. if I can connect these earphones to my oh. iPad. I think I might have to turn it off and turn it back on. Let me try. I've been missing you too, Benny Hayes. Today's your birthday, Rebecca <laughs> Towns. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Rebecca. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna drink a toddy like it's your birthday. And we don't even care if it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday to you. Whoop, whoop. There it is. Donna. Tater. Relaxing for me, too. This isn't discovering it. I wonder why. Let's see here. Software update. It's not going to let me because it needs an update. Doggone it. Son of a gun. Okay, so it's got to be plugged in in order for it to update. There we go. <coughs> oh, I forgot to plug Papa Jerry. <coughs> oh, goodness, Jerry, are you okay? Uh -huh. He's hacking a lung up over there. Happy birthday. Everybody's saying happy birthday to you. Here and on Facebook, everybody's saying happy birthday, man. Rebecca. Uh -huh. My husband surprised me with a party tonight at 6.30 in Orlando, Florida. <gasps> wow, Angela Ball. <coughs> I miss you, too. I love you, too. Stop. Stop. That Dolores uh, me, uh, Kimini says, Mama D, thank you so much for the prayer. You are welcome. But I think my mind is made up. No. No, no. No. Nope. <coughs> 
No, we need you. We need you, honey. We need you. I want you to call. What is it? 988? What is that number, you guys, you call when you feel like you're giving up? Is it 988? Do you guys remember? No. Melanie, what is that number that Dolores should call when you feel like you're no. 988? Thank you, Toll. Thank you, Cindy. 988. I almost slept. No. Aw, go ahead and go to sleep, Melly Belly. Go to sleep. 611, Rose said. I think it's 988. Yeah. Yeah. 988. Thank you, Melly. Melanie. Hi, Nancy Kioski. Hi. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Becky Rose. So there it is. That's how it is. That's the way we do it. Dolores, please, please, please call 988 after the live or even right now. It will give you somebody to talk to that you can share your feelings with and they will help you to work through it. It's really, I'm grounded. Uh-oh, Christina Marie's grounded. What'd you do? Thank you, Dory. Oh, look at the hearts. Thank you for the hearts, Dory. You're amazing. Aw, Dairy. Dairy DSR. Thank you for the hearts. Aw. Hearts back in. Look at you. You're going to make me cry. Aw. On my YouTube, she's giving me hearts, hearts, and millions and millions and millions. Aw, how so wonderful. Thank you, Derry DSR. Thank you so much. Look at you, love. You're so amazing. Thank you. Oh, I love you back. Thank you. There it is. I know me. Tee hee hee, Christina. Yes, look at the hearts. You guys are awesome. Oh, I love you back. Yes, I love you. Right back at you. Mwah. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry, hi. Aw, oh, y'all are amazing. Y'all are so amazing. I love you guys so much. Yes, Mama, in love with you. Thank you, Derry. Aw. What an amazing person you are. Y'all are so amazing. The noodles, are they cooking in just the Instant Pot? Yep. No, I put them, so this is what I did. So in the Instant Pot, oh, it's still updating. So in the beginning, I put beef broth. I put my beef that, that I cut up in little chunks about, you know, yay long. And I put some Italian seasoning, some black pepper, and some kosher salt. And I put that in there, and I let that cook for like 30 minutes in the Instapot to cook the steak, the beef, so it's not tough. And then, mm -hmm. after, you know, I released the pressure from the Instapot, then I put in my sour cream, my cream cheese, my butter, my garlic powder, and my... um parsley, and, um, oh, and my packet of, of mushroom gravy and roast beef gravy, and I put that in there, and I stirred that all up, and then I let it cook 10 more minutes, and then once that was done, and all them spices is combined with the broth and the juice, oh, and, and mushrooms, I put a can of mushrooms in there. And, um, but I did drain the juice off the mushrooms. Momo, stop. You're fine. You're fine. Stop. You Stop. Mama will play with you in a minute. And then after I released the presser off that, then I put my rotini pasta in there, which is, but it's not like, like normal pasta. It is, um, somebody sent me a gift 
of pasta that is made from yellow peas. And the reason is because it's healthier, it's less carbs, the body processes it because it's a vegetable. Um, the liver processes it and it's healthy. So, so for that reason, I used that pasta that somebody blessed me with. And so now I put the, the rotini pasta in there and that has to set in there for nine minutes in that hot, you know, broth. And then once it sets in there for nine minutes, and then it'll be done. So we're just waiting for the pasta to cook in the in the heat from the pressure cooker. Let's see, the noodles, are they cooking in the Instant Pot? Or did they set them for a time and close it back up? I didn't put any more time in it at all. My husband is 80 years old today. Rebecca, so it was his birthday we sang to. Happy birthday to your husband. Happy birthday to him. Let's see. Hello, Mike Vassy. How you doing, my Mrs. Surrey guy? My show me state man. Make us all hungry. I went to make peach and plum crumble. I don't know if it's a thing. Wow, that sounds good, Melanie. Well, it's a thing now. I know, right, Sherry, Sherry? Okay, I think we're ready to go back into the kitchen and check the pasta. Because it feels like... How many minutes is left on that timer, Jerry? Jerry? What timer? On top of the uh, oat flour canister. You know, the time setter. Okay. It's time to go check the pasta. He said he thinks it's done. Let's go look. Okay, here we go, kids. Back to the kitchen. I didn't hear it go off, did you? Uh-uh. Neither. And the pot okay. says, oh. Yeah, it's supposed to. He said the pot says, oh. Because it does. See, I'll show you guys. Whoops. Whoops. There it is. It says O-H. O. Oh. Okay, so we enabled our flash. And now we're going to check our pasta. Y'all ready? I do believe that pasta is done. It looks pretty soft to me. Yep. Look at that. And it's done. Can y'all see that? Look at that. And there it is. My, my, my. Can y'all see that? We need a picture of that, don't we? Let's get a picture with that pasta. Looky here. My, my, my. There it is. Okay, now. Now we're going to fix Papa a bowl. And we're going to take him a bowl. We got to take a picture of this too, though. Man. Look at that big old mushroom. Look at that. We want a piece of that beef right on top. See, that beef just cooks up so easy. Look at that. Nice little, okay. Look at that. I'll show you guys just a second. Let me, let me put, I'll bring you over here in a minute. Just a second. Sprinkle some, just like that. Some parsley on there. And we'll take a picture of that. Look at that, mom. It's like downtown, son. That looked mighty fine. I think a little dollop. Let me show y'all. Let me take you out of here. Okay. Let me see how you turn around right there. Okay. Look at that. And I'm not sure how to take a picture. 
with his... No? Huh, I don't know how. But there it is. And now, wait a minute, let me... Let me get... Here, because we're gonna do a little dollop of. I gotta set y'all down for a second, because I gotta open this. There we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put a, just a little dollop of sour cream on there. Look at that. I don't know how to take a picture with his camera. Jerry, how do you take a picture with your. I think you hit it with two fingers or something. A screen. How do you take a picture with your camera? The camera icon. Where? Where? Camera. Where? I don't see one. Should okay, be. here, you hold them while I take a picture with this one. There it is. I feel like that's not centered. And it's making me feel unbalanced. So there, we need that in the center. Just like that. There we go. You don't know how to take a picture. No, I don't feel so bad. I got a screenshot. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, I got a screenshot. How do you screenshot it? Three fingers at one oh, time. Oh, three fingers. Oh, okay. So that looks like maybe your your camera needs to be wiped off there. Yeah, look at that. <gasps> yep, now I know how to take a picture. So there's Denter. Okay, y'all. Let me turn you back around. You put you in the holder. Okay. I'm going to have to cover, hold one of y'all like this. And this one like this. And this. Whoops. Okay. Okay, let's go get Papa his dinner. He could have helped. Okay, here you go, buddy. Wait a minute, let me, okay, let me turn you guys around so you can see. Then I can see that you guys are watching. Yes, he's blowing it. Denter is done. I'm going to stick it in the fridge for a minute. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? <laughs> That's <Stroganoff. laughs> beef stroganoff. Mm. Okay, it's, so there it is. It's better than any stroganoff I've had before, though. Is it? Yeah, this is. This you really is like it? Yeah, this is like. Thank you. Bread. Hey, Mikey, he likes it. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, I'm going to sign off on YouTube. Let me set y'all up here. And that is my stroganoff. There we go. And we're going to do our prayers on Facebook. So if y'all want to come and join us on Facebook and say prayers with us, you're welcome to come on over. We love you. God bless you. From Mama D, from Mama D's house to your house. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you later. You have a good.